let's talk about something a little bit different. Let's talk about how Uber is moving the goalposts when it comes to rentals. And this could be a good thing, actually, if it helps with the oversaturation problem. Uh, I, I think so. Kudos. What do you think? I mean, I look, I, they have moved them. When we said they moved the goalpost, um, if you're doing a Hertz rental, it used to be, I think it used to be 20 trips that you had to do uh, a month for Uber. Now it's up to 50, Chris. Now it's getting yep. serious. And wasn't the star rating a little, little... Didn't you have to have a higher or lower lower star rating? Or has yeah. it always been 4.9? No, it's 4.90. Uh, it was all, I think it was 4.85. They moved it to 4.90. Now it says, if you have completed fewer than 50 trips with Uber, you will be able to rent a vehicle from one of our vehicle suppl uh, suppliers. However, once you complete at least 50 lifetime trips, you will need to maintain a driver rating. I think that was 485. Now they moved it to 490. And, uh, um, you know, there's a 50, 50 trip uh, a week minimum to in order to continue doing this. I am, no, no. I mean, look, if you do rent through Hertz, you're an automatically a full-time driver anyway, so you should be able to do 50 trips, right? So I don't think that's that big of a deal. The 490 is a pretty, I mean, I'm a 496, so mm -hmm. 490 is pretty high, man, right? I mean, <laughs> there's not much left of five. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, think, uh, I mean, it, it might drop some drivers. I'm not sure, though, um, I, when it comes to it, but... I mean, for the most part, yeah, you better be full time for for driving um, when you have this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I don't have any interest in renting, so it's not something that I even really care about. Um, but those drivers that are renting, yes, you're going to care about this because you know now being 4.9, having the 50 rides, if there's more requirements like 50 trips a week, um, those types of things yeah. are going to have a, a massive play on what you're going to want to do if you're going to be able to do it. Um, and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. those are so things it's in your know. app, um, Devo. It's in your app if you're renting or not. I showed up in my app. It says Sergio Uber connects uh, drivers to car rentals from Avis and Hertz. In most major cities across the U.S., we want to notify you of some changes, and these are the changes. So it should be in your app. Uh, the other thing Uber started doing, Chris, is uh, I don't know if this is like good or bad for them. I mean, there it's almost like really transparent. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm right like, I, I mean, I don't know if I would put that there. Would you put that there? I, <laughs> the left. Okay, look um, at the screenshot on the left, right, people. It says yep. estimated gross earnings seven hundred and twenty whatever dollars, weekly rental, uh, charging costs, and you're left with two hundred and ninety three. Out of seven twenty, is that a good deal? I don't know. Would you put that there? I think it's going to depend on the one, the driver, and two, if you need the car um, to rent. And if you're driving and renting, I think that you'd probably be doing a little bit more than thirty five hours a week. You'd probably be doing, you know, forty, Ooh. fifty, maybe sixty hours a week. So, um, you know, th those are still fixed costs for the weekly rental. And, you know, the charge is going to be a little bit more. Um, you know, depending on how much you're driving and all that stuff. So it can change since that's variable. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, um, I don't know. I mean, on top, it says estimated earnings breakdown. Um, it says 35 hours, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So at least they're being honest here. They're not talking about the $33 or some shit, right? <laughs> 35 in 35 hours you're expected to grow 720 dollars so that comes to what 21 dollars an hour 20 yeah what, an hour? what is it at 293 for 35 that's not even 10 dollars an hour i know i'm like i don't know this this i wouldn't have put this if i was uber but then they did so thanks uber it was like first time you guys being transparent about something and it's kind of yeah. uh, you know this kind of falls right down the line with my 21 to 20 dollars per hours you know uh, online hours in la these days Right about mm -hmm. there. <laughs> That's what I keep doing. I drive at base rates. That's how I get 21, 22. Anyway, so, so this is a change. Be careful. You know, read the small print always. So there you go. Yep. Always read the fine print. Know what's going on. Pay attention. And then if the numbers work for you, it might be worth it. Um, you just got to do a little bit of cost comparison, though. Look, man, I think I think your vehicle, example, depreciation, yeah. all that stuff. And then 
the actual rent cost itself. Yeah, I think, look, I think rentals has a point, has a spot. Like, if you're going to do it, I mean, if you're going to get out there 50, 60 hours, I think rentals have a really good point nowadays, right? You have no other costs other than the rental and the charging if you're doing an EV. You don't have to do EV. You can do any, many other vehicles in the Uber app or Lyft app or Lyft Flex, which I'm going to start digging into that a little bit. Um, but anyway, so if you don't have 50, 60 hours, go rent it. I mean, look, man, I mean, uh, I... Look, 50, 60 hours, 20, 25 bucks an hour, depending on the city you're in. Let's say you gross 1,500, 500 goes to charging and the insurance and the car rental, 1,000 net. I don't know if you can do better with your car. Why even hassle with your car and mileage, depreciation, all that shit? Just go put your 1,000 mm -hmm. bucks in your pocket if you're willing to do the work. That's it. Yeah. I'm right there with you when it comes to yeah. it. You got to you gotta do the cost analysis to figure it out first. Oh, yeah. See if it's going to be worth it, where it's going to be worth it. Because there's going to be a break-even point, and uh, you just got to figure out where your break-even point is going to be. I don't know if it's a scam. I think there are a lot of people doing it, and if you're going to work 50, 60 hours, might as well drive somebody else's car, bro. <laughs> why, mm -hmm. why drive yeah. your own car into the ground? <laughs> it's like, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. I mean, so it, it just depends on what you're doing, where you're driving, all that. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.